Hello and welcome. I'm Chai Hofelenia and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. The Philippine Commission on Elections and Bank votes 6 1 to accept Davao City Mayor Rudy Duterte's candidacy for president. No special treatment for anyone. Uh, we try to uh, objectively assess each and every case. But again, I want to emphasize this is without prejudice to any disqualification cases that uh, have been filed or may be filed against him. Comelec Chairman Andres Bautista says the decision does not affect the pending disqualification case against Martin Dino, whom Duterte is substituting for. But Comelec Commissioner Rowena Guanzon says the poll body should not have accepted Duterte's candidacy because of the pending disqualification case against him. Guanzon was the only commissioner who dissented in the Comelec resolution. <laughs> Following the Comelec and Bank's decision to accept Davao City Mayor Rudy Duterte's candidacy, Senator Grace Poe hopes the poll body will also rule favorably in her case. Poe's spokesman Valenzuela Mayor Rex Gachalian says, in his words, we believe they should be consistent and accept the honest mistake of Senator Poe in her 2013 COC when she ran for senator. Poe listed a lesser number of residency years when she filed her candidacy for senator in 2013. This was used by her critics to question her residency years for her presidential run. Earlier, the Comelec Second Division ruled it cannot accept this error because it would pave the way for more candidates to escape responsibility. Wharton officials have spoken. Presidential candidate Ma Rojas is a graduate of the school. Rappler's fact-checking says Rojas graduated from the Wharton School of Economics at the University of Pennsylvania. In 1979, he earned an undergraduate degree in economics, majoring in finance. Like Davao Mayor Rudy Duterte, netizens claim the term undergraduate is not the same as completing a college degree. Wharton officials say the term means Rojas completed college there and is indeed their graduate. This comes after Rojas and Duterte engage in a world war over each other's credentials. A Philippine court asks homegrown church Iglesia Ni Cristo to clear the entrance of a contested compound in Quezon City. A Quezon City Regional Trial Court order includes removing a guardhouse and portalet, blocking the driveway of No. 36 Tandang Sora, and restoring electricity to the houses of Manalo siblings Angel and Lottie. The court also asks Angel Manalo and Lottie Jemedes to submit within 20 days a list of residents and visitors to the compound. This comes after lawyer Trixie Angeles told the court workers enter the compound Tuesday to put up fences. Angel and Lottie claim the fences are an attempt to force them out of the compound. A court in Brazil orders telco providers nationwide to block popular messaging application WhatsApp for two days. This comes after the court said it asked WhatsApp several times to cooperate in a criminal investigation, but it repeatedly failed to comply. Authorities say they cannot disclose details of the criminal investigation because it is an ongoing case. WhatsApp founder and CEO Jan Kuhn says he is disappointed with Brazil's decision, calling it a short-sighted decision. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Chai Hafilenya. Remember, tomorrow begins today.